Well, hello there. I'm Dan. And I'm Kristen. And, and today, together, we are your lab instructors. instructors. Before we get into today's lab, make sure you review the safety materials and always wear your goggles. Today's lab is on chemical equilibrium. Remember from last semester that not all reactions go completely to the left or to the right. Some reactions find a balance somewhere in between. In today's reaction, we will see two colorless ions become a red complex ion and reach equilibrium. Mm -hmm. In the first part, we will be varying iron. In the second part, we will be varying thiocyanate. We will control the amount of iron and thiocyanate using dilution. If you don't know how to do a dilution, go ahead and click on this link and I'll show you how. We will observe equilibrium using a spectrophotometer. If you want to know how a spectrophotometer works, click here. Okay, so this is your LabQuest 2. You'll be using this to take all of your measurements today. To turn it on, there's a button up here on the top. You press that. But first, you want to make sure your SpectroViz is plugged in to your LabQuest. Because without it, your LabQuest won't know what to measure. So there's a USB port right here and you want to plug it in. You want to make sure your LabQuest is plugged in to an electrical outlet. And this is the port for that. Okay, so now that we have it all plugged in, all powered up, um, you can use your fingers to do anything that I'm talking about, or if for more precise movements, you'll want to use your stylus. Perfect. It's just below the battery port. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before collecting any data is to change the mode. So this box right here, just tap it and change from full spectrum to events with entry. Okay, now next we're going to want to change our absorbance to 447 nanometers. Change, so you're going to tap the red box and then press change wavelength. And you see how it automatically corrected it to 446.8 nanometers? Don't worry about it, it's close enough. Next, you're going to want to calibrate. So to do that, you're first going to want to take a cuvette. Whenever you're handling a cuvette, always make sure you're touching only the ridge sides of the cuvette because the light travels through the non-ridged side. Even the oil from your fingers can obscure the path of light. So make sure you're handling it with this side. Okay, so before we calibrate the spectra viz, we first have to make our blank. So to do that, we're going to use 0.05 molar nitric acid and a cuvette. Now they only need to be about three-fourths of the way full. Also, you want to try and avoid any bubbles. So the best way to do that is to pipette it down the side of the cuvette. And if you do get a bubble in there, just stab it with the pipette. It'll go away. Okay. So to calibrate the lab quest, we've already made our blank. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a chem wipe and wipe the front, and wipe the back just in case your lab partner messed it up. And notice here how you have this little arrow. That's where the clear sides of the cuvette need to be. Otherwise, the light goes through the light will go through the ridge portion. So ridges on the outside. Now, you're going to want to tap the red screen and then click Calibrate. Okay, so it says to warm up, but I'm already warm. So, place a blank cuvette in the device. Already did that. Finish calibration. So, if the, clear, if the solution is clear, then there should be zero light absorbed. Okay, so now we are doing uh, part one of the procedure and making our dilute iron solution. So right here I have a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette and I'm going to be filling it with 0 0.002 molar iron nitrate. Okay, Fill it to this line, the calibration mark. And then put that into your 25 milliliter volumetric flask. 
we're going to fill the volumetric flask with distilled water to its calibration mark. Always remember to read from the bottom of the meniscus. Yay, now we have our dilute iron solution. Okay, so now we're gonna take our five mil volumetric pipette and fill it to the calibration mark. Yeah, and then so for beaker number three, we're gonna add three milliliters of this. If you don't have a three milliliter volumetric pipette, what I like to use is just a Pasteur pipette and a graduated cylinder. Um, preferably one that only goes up to five milliliters because it will be more accurate. So I'm gonna take some out of here and fill this up until I get to three milliliters. This is gonna take some time. Okay, so now that we've added our dilute iron solution to each of our beakers, we will now add the designated amount of nitric acid. So if you're making table one solutions, you want to be working with 0.2 molar potassium thiocyanate, not 0 0.002. 0 0.002 is used in part two with the second table. So if your beaker number one looks like a pale, 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 pale yellow, you use the wrong molarity. Okay, so now we're gonna add five milliliters of our iron. And then for the magic, five milliliters of our thiocyanate. Ooh, ah. Okay, so here you can see that by varying the concentration of iron, the color has changed. So the amount of complex ion has also changed. This, for table one, you should always be going from a dark red to a light yellow. When you're working for table two, it should be a light orange yellow to clear. Okay, so now that we've filled our cuvette and we've calibrated it, we're gonna place the cuvette in there and we're gonna take our measurement. So press play down here at the bottom uh, left. And it'll change to this graph screen automatically. And once it's settled on a number, you're gonna press keep. And it'll say beaker number one or event one, okay. Okay, so now that we have started our data collection, I made another cuvette for beaker number three. And Notice how it changes from 0.9 to 0.6. And now I can press keep. And I'll say beaker number three. Okay. Okay, so now to make your LabQuest communicate with the iPad so you can see your graph in real time and email it to yourself for your lab report, you're gonna to wanna to click on the graphical app. Now to connect to the iPad, we're going to click this little dot over here, and then we're going to say specify source. And we need to enter in the Wi-Fi IP address, which we will find on the LabQuest. Click the home button, you're gonna press connection, and then network. So whatever the IP address is here, you wanna type that into the um, iPad. So it's 10.200.88.119. Return. Now make sure that you do not have your cell phones on because it will steal the Wi Fi and kick people offline, as well as your, you and your own lab group. Okay, so now if you want to see how straight your line is, click the I button in the lower left hand screen and it'll say graph options and you just click lines or points or both. Now this is also where you can make a title for your graph and label your axes which is required for your lab report. So that's the end of the lab. Hopefully it made sense. Just to summarize, we took iron and thiocyanate and converted them into FESCN at some point they found an equilibrium and as they turn this way your solution turns red and if you have questions on your calculations follow this link right here
It will show you how to do all of the Excel calculations and hopefully help you better understand the equations that you are using. Call me if you have any problems. Ah, uh, no, no, don't, don't call me. Just, just send me an email. So two guys walk into a bar. One asks for water, H2O. The other asks for H2O2. And he died. Be careful.